Well, greetings, Mr. Colazar's class. We're going to look into relating the strength of an acid or base to the degree of its ionization, meaning the ability to make its ions. Now, the idea here is, in this diagram in the middle of your page, you've got our dissociation strong acid. And for strong acid, I'd like you to include that it ionizes completely. By that, we mean that this is just our strong acid. It's just any generic acid. The anion is going to be the A part. So H plus strong acids are going to completely move to H plus and whatever the anion ending is of that acid. So in solution, we make all 100% H plus and A minus. We have no product, or reactant, excuse me, left afterwards. Notice there's nothing here. Now, for a weak base, what I'd like you to put down is it ionizes partially. So we start out with HB, it's just B is just any negative anion for a weak base or for weak acid. So in the end, we make a little bit, make sure you identify we got a little bit of H plus and a little bit equal amount of the B minus, but the majority is still here. So our weak base, we have very little H plus, and remember that H plus is the actual hydrogen ion, which is the acid and concentration. So a weak base is very little is made. Strong acids are excuse me, weak acids, very little. Strong acids a lot or hundred percent. So strong acids, acids that ionize completely. So an example is our HCl moving to an aqueous solution. All of it, one hundred percent is going to be produced into the aqueous. Notice the arrow going in one direction that arrow moving this direction is showing that it goes all from reactant to product. So no reactant is left over after we've established equilibrium. Some strong acids to know will be our six here. These are our strong acids that ionize completely to make our H plus, a nice little acronym. Clouds, not so cloudy in the breeze. So just a little acronym for remembering those. They're also in your gold packet. Weak acids ionize partially. So we're going to have the reversible arrow showing that at equilibrium we're going to be able to have some reactant and some product left over. Now in this case mostly reactant with very little hydrogen and whatever the negative anion to that acid is. So afterwards in solution, most of it stays as the acid without producing the H plus. So our weak acids, very little H plus, definition of what our acids is, very little is produced there. Now reason why this is, is conjugate base over here, the ability to accept the hydrogen to move back, it wants to accept that H plus more then the acetic acid wants to donate the H plus, so we end up with mostly our starting material, the reactant, in this case acetic acid, and very little hydrogen ion and very little acetate ion. And so that'll be the end of our strong versus weak acids.